So I finally beat Cyberpunk 2077, and it's come a long way since the Cyberbug release. Bruh. So here's some thoughts I had on the game. No spoilers, of course. I was surprised at how many choices were in the game. Um, I saw that a lot of people were saying that there weren't many choices throughout the game. However, though, I found that, that side missions had way more choices than the main missions. And a good example of this would be the end of the game, how side missions actually affect your main missions and their choices. And as again, as I said, a good example would be the ending, as you can get multiple endings throughout the game and your choices through some of your side missions would affect that ending. So all I have to say is definitely if you guys choose to play this game, play a lot of the side missions because there's a lot of good missions, a lot of good choices, and they do affect the ending. The voice acting is top notch especially for both male and female v uh, especially at the beginning after the events with jackie um you can really um feel the emotion coming from male v also at the ending of the game where there's different endings and you can also feel the emotional tension with male and female v as well solid voice act i also found it in the cyberpunk edge runners anime that also had solid voice acting so just all around really good voice acting and the voice acting in general, it got me up. I, I felt a little emotional there for a second, especially at the ending. I was surprised by the attention to detail to the game. For example, in one mission, when Pan Am is injured, um, it actually leaves a scar if you play the rest of the game. So if you go back and visit her, you'll actually see the scar. And also, if you choose to romance this character, for example, if you just stare at her randomly in conversation, she'll wink at you. You know, they didn't have to add this stuff, but th that's really cool that they did. It, it makes the world way more vibrant and it makes the world may way more believable as well. Um, also, if you shoot at the water, it pops up, throw a grenade in it, it pops up as well. Just really cool attentions to detail, especially the car destruction. I feel like the car destruction got a lot better after the first update because I don't remember the car destruction being that good, but now uh i saw when i was uh driving johnny hand's car i saw that the front was coming off the sides were torn so i thought that was pretty cool okay so now we're gonna get into some spoiler territory here so you've been warned i can't wait to see the lore implication uh for the future of this game especially if they do a sequel because in in any ending you do there's going to be the Alt Cunningham ending where basically she has a ton of constructs and wants to free them and combine with them. Who knows, maybe David Martinez is also constructed in there too. But I wonder if this is like gonna play out maybe in the future as like some sort of like AI rebellion or maybe like they're gonna start taking over tech or something and you might see an Alt Cunningham resistance with the AIs and they might start to rebel. That would be pretty interesting. I, I found it kind of interesting how all the endings kind of led to that. So I wonder what they're gonna do with the future. Who knows? Maybe they'll do something with that. So that's it. These are just some of my thoughts on Cyberpunk 2077 after being the game. I quite enjoyed it a lot. Um, there's still a couple bugs. Uh, a lot of the bugs, though, have been fixed. There's still a couple of them. Some of them that I can remember were the double person, where there's two people um, inside of each other. It's a little bit weird. Uh, breaks immersion. And then there's also the bug where um, there's also the bug where people go through the ground. And especially when I was riding my motorcycle throughout the game, I literally fell through the ground. Thought that one was weird. And then of course, there's always you know, the same character bug. You'll see the same character throughout Night City, everywhere you go when you turn around. I'm just saying maybe he's one of the main villains in the story and he's just been around this whole time and he's been plotting his next scheme. I don't know, could be interesting. Could be the main villain, you never know. But I can't tell you how many times I've seen off-brand Keanu Reeves in this game. He's everywhere, man. But I recommend everyone play the game. I think now, especially after update 1.6, now is a very good time to get into the game. So I highly recommend everyone to just jump in, play it, especially I think it's on sale right now. So now's a really good time. And we know that more updates are coming and it's getting expansion. So I can't wait to see what they do. So if I had to give this a rating, I would probably give it an eight out of 10. I found this game to be really enjoyable. It's, uh, um, and I can't wait to see where it goes in the future. I would give it a nine out of 10 if they got all the bugs out, but they, they still got some bugs left in the game. But if they can get those bugs out, nine out of 10, I'm, I really enjoyed this game. See everyone. And thank you for watching the video. Thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe and share the video. Also check out my other videos as well. 